This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. One of the questions I've had guys talk about is ceremony sound system. How did I do the remote ceremony sound system? I was at a location where we were 300 feet from uh, electricity approximately, and I did a little video on that. Well, since that time, I had one where we were a quarter mile out, and one we were literally, it wasn't even, we, they were like we were out in the middle of a field. I couldn't tell you where the electricity would have been. I think as high schoolers, you probably would have been doing beer parties in that spot, but that doesn't happen. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. I've had a lot of people ask, in one of my videos, they were asking about the ceremony sound. We did remote ceremony sound in a spot that was 300 feet away from electricity. Without that, you know, didn't want to run an extension cord that far, we ended up using a battery-powered system. And I've had folks ask about that. Well, since that time, I've done a couple of ceremony sounds where we were even, we were even farther out. One was out in the middle of a hay field. I, electricity was somewhere. And one was, uh, you know, out behind their buildings and, and they, their trees and they were doing behind their bar, their farm site. Again, no idea how far. So distances that we've had to, yeah, we could have run a generator, but I don't like to run a generator if I can at all avoid it. So we went battery power. What I did is I went to my local hardware store. You, you, you can go to one of the big box hardware stores. You know they are all out, they've all got this device. And what it is is just a battery powered inverter. It hooks up to a 12 volt battery. And I buy a big. I've got a big uh, deep cycle battery. This is the case I put it in. It's not in here. There's no way I'd be flipping it around. But I have a little uh, one and a half amp of automatic charger that I mounted on this case. Why I like this case is that it has a little a little uh, view, view viewer here, which will show how much charge it has. So, you know, when it's in a green, yay, and when it's not in a green, a boo. When I hook half of the battery in here, fully charged, and it's a fairly new battery. What do I mean by that? Well, deep cycle batteries only have a, about a two to three year life cycle. And I'm talking to the battery guys, they're like, if you can get three years out of a deep cycle battery, like a trolling motor battery, um, it's, it's something like that, you're doing pretty well. So what I, I've done is I basically buy the battery, I use it for a while and then use it in my boat for a while or use it in my fish house because we fish in fish houses in the winter here and I get a new one for the mobile system every couple of years. But anyway, you get the big battery in here, can charge, hook it up to that inverter. Once it's in the inverter, the inverter I have is a 3000 a 3000 watt inverter which can run at 1500 watts consistently and then of course it can bump up to 3000. I'm hooking it, hooking a fender system up into it. This is the fender uh, the Fender 500 Pro right here that we're looking at. This is a 500 watt system for output. We hooked this up to a kilowatt to find out what it could do. In its time of running, it never exceeded 100 watts of, of out, output as far as power being sucked out of the, out of the little inverter. Perfect for that, this device. I have also run the older version of the Passport with this, the 250, which has a smaller amplifier in it. The 250 I ran it one day for eight hours wide open outside here just to see what it could do and the battery still was saying it had 75 percent charge after eight hours of running so really the fender passports and the, some of these smaller sound systems you might use are really quite efficient when it comes to that so you plug that in um i usually have a, a surge protecting outlet strip that i have and then i plug in my wireless microphones so everything is plugged into that i put it on my little uh, my little dolly cart can wheel it across the area if I need to, or if I have to go, you know, might even drive the truck out there. But it's portable, easy to use, and it works pretty well. So I'll try to find a couple of links to put in the description and show you some of the things that I've used for that. And uh, yeah, if you ever have a chance to do a ceremony, you know, way out in the sticks, a couple hundred dollars worth of materials, and you're good to go. This is John Young with the Disjockey News.